and a happy new year 2018. This year I'm especially excited because I am starting a new daily art challenge and it's going to be all about insects. So So I want to use this opportunity to share with you five pieces of advice if you want to dive into a daily art challenge. So just a bit of background, it's the second daily art challenge that I am making. The first one was in 2015, where I did sculpt every day a different fruit or vegetable. So that particular daily art challenge was a turning point in my artwork as it was the first time that I did something that I considered as truly art uh, because I put a lot of meaning and it was a very personal approach to it. In a nutshell the idea was to talk about the environmental impact of the meat production and to encourage people to eat more plants and less meat. So it also follows my own lifestyle since I changed from omnivore to a mostly vegan lifestyle over the couple of years and I really wanted or I really needed to share this in my artwork somehow and so the daily mini veggie challenge was born and since then I knew I wanted to be more of an artist and not an artisan as I used to be. It was really a life-changing art challenge for myself. That doesn't mean that daily art challenges are always life-changing. Usually they just tend to better your skills or help with creativity and inspiration. And they also help you to just get started on your art career or maybe just to get you in the mood to create art. Usually when you create something from scratch and you are seeking inspiration, you basically just need to get some work done to find inspiration. And so my first piece of advice is to understand your goal. You really want to understand what you want to achieve with your daily art challenge. Is it for you to learn a new skill, maybe to master a new medium that you like, or maybe it's just to get out of your comfort zone, or maybe you, you feel like you're kind of stuck in your own artwork and you need a challenge to feel inspired again or maybe you just don't know where you're going right now and and you have no clue what you want and so maybe you want to start a daily art challenge to kind of find a new focus. That's all fine, there are no good or bad goals with an art challenge since it's something that is very personal. So just understand why you are doing it because this is going to be your motivation on certain days when you don't really feel like doing anything. My second piece of advice would be to pick your theme. So for me, um, the first time it was miniature vegetables and fruit, and this time it's insects. So in my case, it's very um, object-based, so to speak. Um, I picked a very precise theme. It could be humans, it could be animals. And then I'm working in the realm of that particular theme and then just see where I want to do what I want to do and I don't have any rules for colors or medium etc. It really helps to know what you want to work on theme wise because otherwise you might get lost or you might just don't know what to do. And daily art challenge needs to be a little precise otherwise it won't work. If you just decide to make a daily sketching challenge you will probably soon enough just wonder what what am I going to draw or paint today? And you don't know. So pick a theme and stick to it. It will ease your process a lot in the morning or in the evening when you get down to work on your daily art challenge. You know it's going to be that particular theme and then you just kind of pick it random. On the contrary, you don't want to have a too precise theme either. If you, for instance, would pick the theme blue cats that would be really too precise and after a week probably you would get bored and, and just wonder why, what, what I'm doing here, I need to change something and because that's just too precise. You could pick a theme that is cats which is already very precise but at least you have some room for for colors maybe and so you can work around that unless you know you want to work just in one color like blue or maybe just black and white and in, in that case maybe pick just a color but you really need to pick a theme otherwise you're going to get lost. Which brings me to my third advice which would be to pick your own rules. 
So I think rules are critical in a daily art challenge. Otherwise, as I said before, it's a bit like the theme, you get lost. If your only rule is to make daily art, that's well enough. But if it's something you already struggle with in your normal life, then you're just not going to make it. So you need to have some specific rules um, on how you're going to approach this. One rule that I find especially important and which was one of my biggest mistake in my challenge in 2015 was to, to not decide what happens when I go away and when I'm not in my studio. So what I would do was to uh, stick to a daily sculpting challenge. So I would basically sculpt ahead when I, when I knew I was going to be away for one week or two weeks. I would sculpt one or two weeks worth of sculptures, photograph them and then post them every day. Um, so when I was away, I would still have the daily sculpting, which I mean, when I think about it, it's completely insane and kind of is just not what you're supposed to do as it's, I think a daily art challenge should still stay personal. And I felt like I felt kind of obligated because I always show publicly and share my work with the public to have that really daily thing happening and it just didn't work out. So that didn't work. I do wonder if holidays, what happens on holidays? Um, are you going to do and continue the daily art challenge? Are you going to pause? Are you going to cut yourself some slack? Just think about that kind of situation and what you're going to do with it. Another thing you might think about is I talked about the theme uh, just previously and the theme is basically the object of your content but what about materials? Are you going to use only painting, only sculpting? Are you going to make a mix of materials? Is it is it going to be just the one pen that you are going to use all year through or maybe you are going to change every day? So really think about that because otherwise you might get a little lost and a little confused and to be honest, I think the daily art challenge works best when you have a very clear set of rules and then you just have to do. If you have to think too much about it every day, it's going to be really difficult to just get going. The idea here is just, you know, just get going and, and start something. And if you have to overthink every time you're supposed to do your daily art challenge, then it's going to be a little bit paralyzing. And now my fourth advice, which would be time and schedule. I would suggest you really think about it. I mean, I'm really bad example at that because I usually don't, but then I get overwhelmed and I overwork myself, so I'm really not a good example. It's really key that you know how how much time you can give to your daily art challenge. Is it 10 minutes? Is it five? Is it 30 minutes? Maybe it's an hour. But just so that you have a good understanding of what you are capable of doing. If you have one hour uh, every day, you can make a small painting. If you have just five minutes, then a doodle is more likely to happen than a huge painting. So really understanding how much time you have and at what hour you can make it is really important. If you work with tools that do a lot of noise but can only work in the middle of the night or really late in the evening, then that might be an issue. So these are uh, things that you might uh, think about before diving into this art challenge. It's important to adjust. If you feel like, if you're starting and you feel like it's not quite working for you, it's like you thought 30 minutes a day was going to be good, but you realize 30 minutes is too much or not enough, then just readjust. You know, maybe 15 minutes is like your sweet point. Maybe you really do need one hour. Maybe you're just getting bored and, and it's not working and so you want to change every day. It's all fine. Um, just know what you're doing and don't don't spend too much time thinking about your challenge. You really want to have it go smoothly. And my last piece of advice would be don't judge. So I think this is probably the most important thing as an artist in general, in art, in your artwork, in your art practice in general, is to don't judge your artwork too early. It's to make good art, you need to do a lot of it. So quantity is clearly better to achieve quality. If you hesitate too much every morning to do something, if everything is like, everything you start, you're already criticizing it and, oh, that's bad, or I don't like it, and then you give up, 
then you will never be able to do good art. You really need to get past the idea that everything you do is supposed to be great. Most of the things you will do is pretty bad and that's okay. And over time and over practice and with daily practice your art is going to become better and good and maybe even very good. But it's all about practicing so don't judge what you're doing and maybe you know once a month or something like that if you want to do it, uh, it this daily art challenge over a year maybe once a month then you can look back at your work and then assess it with some criticism but some healthy criticism and then look at it and think okay um, I don't like this one why how could it be better what can I do to make it better okay that's pretty much it about the daily art challenge don't forget it's your own art challenge it's your rules it's your theme you decide on everything just make it as easy for you as you can so you just get up or just before bed can make your daily art challenge without thinking too much about it and just do it and cut yourself some slack on days where you don't really feel like it or if it's just too much but don't cut yourself too much slack because if you don't do it on a daily basis then what's the point really okay i really hope you enjoyed this video if you liked it give it a thumbs up maybe subscribe and i will see you in my next one bye